Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Planet X uh, Corella. I don't think I pronounced that right. I probably didn't. But in either case, this is their take on a War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, Skywarp. And um, I think it looks pretty good in his jet mode. Um, looks pretty... Um, Kind of close to what we saw in the game. I mean, it's not like 100% perfect, but it is it is pretty good. So I really do like the way that this turned out. So you can see up front here, we got some nice uh, translucent orange plastic for the uh, cockpit section, which does open, but it is very much a pain to get open. So I doubt I'll be able to... Oh, no, I did. Here we go. So you can open it, and there's just some like silver in there, and you got like a little seating area. So you can have that open if you want. Um, and a lot of very nice... Uh, it's kind of like a like a deep metallic purple plastic, and I really do like the way that it comes off. So overall, it looks very nice. Um, you do have the thrusters back here, and this is how I transform them. The way you're supposed to is you flip, you uh, keep them kind of straight and kind of lined up like that, and then you're supposed to take his toe and flip it down like that. Um, I can do that if you want, but I like having them kind of angled, and I flip this up just to kind of get it out the way. But, again, you can do what you want, so... And I do like that the, he has some, uh, kind of translucent or transparent purple plastic in there. It looks pretty cool, so... And he does have, uh, three kind of, um, landing struts. So you got two here and then the one on the front, so you can have him off the ground. But, yeah, overall, he looks very nice, and I really do like this jet mode, so... Uh, as far as accessories go, you do get a mace that he had in the game. It was his, uh, melee weapon... So, and the everything, or this uh, top section's done in that same transparent purple plastic. And these spikes are sharp as shit. Ah, so, I mean, they, they, they legit, like, you can stab somebody with this. But I do like how it looks. Looks very nice. Um, and you do get two of these uh, null rays. So, you do get two of them. And they're just done in all black. And, but there is some purple detailing inside of there which is nice i think it turned out pretty well so yeah and you can store the null rays they just plug in underneath the wings here which is kind of a pain to get them in but you can plug them in underneath if you want so you can have that going on so i believe that is about it for jet mode um oh these uh these are uh stickers that i put on these Decepticon symbols, those don't come with the toy. I put these on. But uh, as far as jet mode goes, I believe that's about it. So I suppose we will get down to the transformation. So uh, first thing is you just want to take the... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to leave that down real quick. But um, I guess you can just kind of come back here and angle the feet forward and bring the toes down like so. You then want to come in here and untab the wings, kind of get them up and out of the way. You then can come to the sides here, bring the arms out and down, and then I'm going to raise up the camera just a little bit. You then want to come in here to this panel. This is the shoulder pad. You want to take it and unpeg it from that section in there, which can be quite a pain. So just untab that, and then you can kind of fold the arm out and fold the sort of shoulder pad and bring that down and around. So bring the arm, fold that kind of down, and then bring this around, bring that down. You then can take these panels, open them up, and take the landing strut, put the, flip that in, take the nose piece section, flip that in, bring those, leave those out for now. You then want to come to the back here and lift this entire section and bring this up, because you're then going to want to take this section here with these two pieces and hinge them forward they're in a double hinge for tra for vehicle mode you want them back like that for robot mode you want to bring them forward like so then can come in here to these um these ab pieces and they're on a hinge and a ball joint so you just want to bring them down to the side like that angle them up and then collapse them in like so and you can just do the same thing on this side just bring this down bring that around bring that down and that will sit in and tab in nice and flush you then want to come to the legs here open them up extend them out you then want to take the landing struts and fold them in and kind of get them so that they line up and 
collapse them in like so. You then want to come to the back here and make sure that this lines up. Make sure that all this lines up like so. And then you can tab in the leg. And there you have a leg all done. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just bring this down, a fold in the landing strut, collapse that in, bring the leg down, and collapse the leg up, close it up, and there you have his legs all done. Uh, now you want to come to the back here, you can untab these sections from back like so, kind of bring them out and up like that then want to take these sections and bring them forward and they will come together and tab together like so and then you want to take these sections here and bring them out bring them around and then rotate these panels up oh, if I can get them to sit correctly bring them up and around like so do the same thing on this side bring this around and kind of you want to get it past the uh the wing here like so then you want to take this whole nose cone section and bring this down you see that reveals kind of reveals the head and then want to take it and tab it in like so take this section and it'll tab into the neck right there like so and then you kind of gotta get these out the way fold these panels and fold them back make sure that's all tabbed in nice and securely and then you're gonna want to take the back bring it up and this will all tab in well it's supposed to come on you do kind of have to fight with it unfortunately it's not too much of a pain but it can kind of go against what you want it to do so oh you gotta i forgot yeah also have to you want to take the section and rotate it around that probably would help yeah there we go and then there are two tabs there's a tab there and it'll tab into that slot there and it's like that on both sides you just take it and tab them in tab it in and that locks the all the back into place you then want to come to the wings back here and extend them take them and extend them like so then want to come to the hand or the arms here and flip out the fists which can be quite the pain in the butt to get flipped out ah. oh, I'm gonna grab my screwdrivers real quick or maybe not thought I had them right next to me but come on yeah, the, as you can see, getting his hands out can be quite the pain in the ass, not gonna lie. So, come on. Come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Man, these really do not want to come out. And I don't know why they get stuck like that. Never figured that out. Come here. There we go. Flip that out and then close this panel and bring that down. And now I'm gonna get to fight with this one. Cause yeah, no, okay. I'm just taking Ironhide's gun here. This is from the Planet X Ironhide and I'm just prying the hand out. Yeesh. Couldn't have made that a little easier. And again, I don't I don't know if that's just my copy, but frickity frick frag, that's hard. Kinda hurt my thumb a little bit. But here we have the Planet X Skywarp fully transformed and in his robot mode. And I really do love the way that his robot mode turned out. I think he looks so dang good. Take these wings and kind of angle them up a little bit more like that. I think it turned out really well though. I, I absolutely do love how this figure looks. He's so, I, I love, I, I know a lot of people don't like, or some people might not like the War for Cybertron aesthetic or the Fall of Cybertron, but I really do like how beefy these figures are, and that came untabbed. Oh, lovely. This is going to fight with me now. Oh, man. Come on. There we go. Get tab in there. 
Don't, don't, don't come untabbed, please. Once you get everything tabbed in, it, it tabs in just fine, but it, it, I will admit, sometimes getting everything tabbed in can be a bit of a pain. There we go. But yeah, he does look absolutely freaking great. I love his head sculpt. I mean, it's just kind of like Starscream's head sculpt, but I liked how they, the white in there and the red for the eyes. I really do like how that turned out. And overall, I just think he looks really, really good. And he cleans up fairly well, too. I mean, you just have, you know, the wings on the back, which is about what he had in the game, so. And he does have, uh, he has butt cheeks. He's got butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, that, see, that didn't tap in right either. There we go. So, yeah, looks very, very good in my opinion. So as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint, so you can do what you want with it. Uh, the arms, you can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. Uh, these are also on hinges and on ball joints. Um, does have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. Uh, the fingers can open and close, and he does have a wrist swivel, so that's nice. Um, he does have a waist swivel, which is very nice. Uh, legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. He has a thigh swivel. He has over 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and the ankles are on ball joints. So they can swivel, and they can, you know, you have your ankle pivot, and you can move this front toe up and down if you want. And also the back heel, this is on a hinge too, so you can move that if you wish. So he is pretty dang poseable too, which is very, very nice. I'm glad that they, they gave him the amount of articulation that they did. So very, very, very nice. Um, as far as our, our, our ugh, accessories, he can hold his uh, mace. You just open his fingers and kind of clip that into his hand. You just put it in his hand. Come on, get, get, get in the hand. Get, get in your hand. Eh, eh, there we go. So, he can hold the mace, which looks pretty badass in my opinion. And, of course, you can take the null rays, and he can hold them like regular guns, but personally, I like to take them and plug them in back behind his arms and have that look going on. I think that looks pretty badass. And you can plug, you know, both of them on if you want. So, you can have that going on if you if you wish, kind of have them all armed up. And I think that looks really nice, so. But overall, um, I really like the figure. And um, I only own three Planet X figures, and well, one of them is in horrible shape because I received it broken. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that. It really, really sucks. But um, as far as uh, Skywarp here goes, or Corella, I don't know how you pronounce it. He's really good. Um, I've heard that some of the Planet X figures do have some QC issues. Um, I know their earlier figures were pretty good, but their recent figures have been kind of meh. Um, at least from what I've heard. I don't know if that's actually true, but from what I've seen, some of them, you can either end up with a really good copy or a copy with, you know, the joints were too tight or, you know, things like that. But as far as this figure goes... Um, Besides things kind of wanting to fight you a little bit during the transformation, this is a solid, uh, a solid figure, and I definitely a very, um, you know, as I've stated, I absolutely love this figure. I grew up with the War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron games, and I played them to hell and back, so I've always wanted to have figure designs kind of in like the masterpiece kind of, you know, style, and this is basically what Planet X has been doing, and I 110% approve, so... I do highly recommend this figure if you uh, if you like the design or you're into the Fall of Cybertron games. Um, definitely, like I said, I do recommend it. So that's going to be about it for the review. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.